what is up guys it's the same here and we back with another video um this one's going to be a little bit more of like a beat breakdown type of thing because i already made the beat whereas like the last video was more of a tutorial so yeah this beat is like more of a rage type of beat i got this loop from my homie foley and uh yeah he went crazy so i'm just gonna play it right now all right so yeah shout out to foley for that his socials are gonna be linked in the description and also in the top right corner of the screen right now and yeah so for the first thing i did for the drums was the 808 right here um and i actually have two 808s on the beat uh which is gonna be these two and yeah they basically build off of each other um so if i played one it wouldn't really sound too good so i'm just gonna play both of them together and this is what they sound like so yeah that's basically what those sound like and then this is like the pattern for the second 808 and then this is the one for the first 808 so you can see like right here there's like an empty space and this kind of fills that in and you can see when they both play like right here so yeah that's pretty interesting um that's kind of like a new technique that kind of got popularized with these yee beats and yeah so that's the 808 next thing i did was add this clap and then right here i have this roll going on um so you got this it's kind of like a, the same way you do a hi-hat roll but this is with the clap and then you can see down here the uh velocities i have like rising up so it sounds like it's rolling into the next clap and this is what that sounds like so yeah that's pretty interesting i thought it added a lot of bounce to the beat and then i have the hi-hats right here and they're pretty normal like trap hi-hats but this is what they sound like So yeah, sorry if that was a bit loud. <laughs> um, now I got this open hi-hat. Pretty standard. Um, so, but after that, the beat was kind of done. I didn't really know what, to, what else to add. But I ended up doing this thing that I like to do a lot. And it's like a snare roll kind of but with a open hat so i found this open hat sound right here and uh <clears throat> i ended up liking it so i made this pattern with it and it's yeah it's like a open hat roll kind of and this is what it sounds like so that is you can't really hear it too much in the beat but it adds just a bit of ear candy and i just thought it made it interesting and it added like a lot of bounce to it and yeah so that's like the open hat roll i like to do those quite a bit um and i just thought it fit in the beat and then after that i just have this snare playing some rolls um just to add a little bit of like bounce to the beat i don't really know what else to say they're kind of just like here at the end of the fourth bar and the eighth bar. Um, and they're trying to kind of like help transition into the next part of the beat, if that makes sense. So yeah, this is what they sound like. Right there, and then it goes a little bit higher over here. So yeah, that's the snare. 
Then I have another open hat playing, and it's playing a pretty basic pattern. It's just right before the snare, so this is what the uh, snare and the open hat sound like. So yeah, it's pretty basic. And then, uh, so that's pretty much like all the drums that I added. So we got like the 808s, the claps. I actually don't have a kick on this beat. So, uh, well, most of these like rage beats don't really need a kick. So I didn't really add one cause I didn't feel like it needed it. So yeah, I just have the 808s and then the clap hi-hat, a couple open hats with the open hat roll and all that. And then like a little snare for all the snare rolls. So yeah, this is what the drums sound like all together. Um, it's probably going to be a little bit loud, so sorry about that. So yeah, right at the end there, you can probably hear the uh, open hat roll going. But yeah, that's pretty much all the drums I added. And... Next thing I did was start the arrangement. So I just have like the loop playing right here. Uh, there's like this first part of the loop and then the second part of the loop. The second part is different because there's a little bit more stuff going on within the instruments. So like the instruments are playing a more complex pattern. So like right here is all like the intro. And then right here we got the hook. And then right here is the verse or like that's like the verse and then this is like a bridge uh and then we had the hook and then the outro right here <clears throat> and yeah so that's like usually how i do the arrangement sometimes i have a second verse if i have like the beat at a higher tempo I ma i'd make this verse like shorter and then fit in a second verse back here but the tempo is at like 146 so i usually just do one verse a little bridge and then a pretty decently sized intro and outro and yeah so after i did the arrangement i decided i wanted a little bit of a riser going into the hook and out of the hook into the verse um and this is what that sounds like right here So it just adds like a little bit of tension going into different sections of the beat. We're gonna ignore all these automations for right now. I'll get back to those in a little bit. Next thing I did was add me and Foley's tags uh, in the intro and the outro, but I'm not gonna play both. I'll just, I'll just like play them right here. So this is what mine sounds like. <laughs> Okay, and then this is what Foley sounds like. Foley, Foley, Foley. His is definitely more professional than mine, but I'm gonna get a new one soon. So yeah, that's pretty much like the entire beat. And then so these automation clips, I can go more in depth now. So basically uh, what's happening here, this top one is for the master volume. And that basically just does the fade out at the end in the outro, cause all the drums are playing up here. So it kind of just has like the drums and then it just fades out into nothingness. So yeah, that's how that works. Um, so the second one then is going to be for the intro because I have the tempo fading up here because I made this little, I made this cool intro like um, effects kind of where I exported this part of the hook and then I have or just this first part and then I have um, I have it as an audio clip here and then I uh, messed with the time knob and I made sure it's on resample uh, and so that basically just means that when I change the tempo here it's gonna stay uh, on the grid but it's gonna change the pitch of it too so like the slower that you have the tempo, the lower pitch it's gonna sound. So right here I have the tempo automated to go from slower to faster. So it kind of gives it that uh, 
taped start effects. Um, and it also, this is uh, the producer of Tell Em by Kochi's also did this effect. And that's kind of what I was inspired by. Um, and then to add on to that right here, I have a reverb that's being automated in on the intro. And then it kind of just fades down for the rest of the beat. So that's kind of how that works. So that way the intro part right here has a little bit of reverb on it. All right, so that leaves us with this automation clip right here. It's a little bit more complicated. Um, and basically how it works is I have this gross beat. All right, hold on. Let me start right here. So I have the all the instruments in the loop uh, routed to mixer track number six. So you can see down here this little cable um, right here. You can see it leads into track six throughout all of these. So that just means the all of the audio from the melody is going to be playing through track six after going through all the effects on these. So on track six, I have gross beat loaded up with a half beat gate uh, right here. It's this little box. And then I messed around with the attack and release here. And basically what the automation clip is doing is it's changing this knob right here, which basically tells gross beat or basically dictates how much of an effect the gross beat is going to have on the melody or whatever is coming through the track six. So right here, uh, when this is like all the way down, like it is right here at the beginning, it means that the gross beat is completely muted and nothing's going to happen and it's not going to take effect at all. And then as it goes up right here in this little staircase thing and like right here is probably a better example when it's like, I'd say this is like, I don't know, 30%. It's basically going to raise this knob up to 30% and the gross beat is going to be taking an effect on the melody, uh, like only partially. It's kind of hard to explain, but basically the effect isn't going to be happening, happening like, uh, completely. It's only going to be partial. So you'll hear it when I play the beat. Um, and you'll like be able to recognize what's happening and yeah that's pretty much the last thing I did I just added that in because I thought it sounded good before like the drops and all that so yeah that's this is gonna be pretty much like the end of the video I'm gonna just play this beat for the outro you could also find this beat on my main channel which is gonna be linked in the description and in the top right corner of the video right here and yeah, thank y'all for watching. Make sure to subscribe, leave a like, all that. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Peace. Foley.